Okay, Matthew Rose just signed his first professional contract to Brentford FC in the Premier League. Like our dream of becoming a professional footballer has come true, but this is just the beginning. On our debut, we scored our first Premier League goal, but Brentford are struggling right now. Manager Thomas Frank let us know that we might go out on loan in January. So we got to try to play good enough that they can't let us go. Like we just got to the Premier League. We don't want to leave. Like these next three months are huge for us. So once again, the support on this series has been insane. If you guys want to keep seeing daily episodes of this series, then once again, drop me a like down below. All right, someone's not on our door. Turns out it's Alejandro Garnacho. Of course, we became friends after our Manchester United trial. And currently United are playing uh, Chelsea, so he's in town. He's in London. He, of course, congratulates us on signing for Brentford. And he also says that when we play Manchester United, he's going to score against us. Like, he's guaranteeing it. And we're like, nah, nah, that's not happening. Obviously, we show him around the new apartment, which we're going to try and, like, remodel, decorate at some point in this episode. Because honestly, right now, this place is looking a little lame. So, of course, play a little Xbox, you know, kill some time, hang out. And then Garnacho leaves because we both have business to get to. Like, we may be a Premier League football right now, but we got to play like one too because like i said we are currently in 20th place we had a very rough start starting with chelsea then playing man city but it does not get any easier because our next two games are liverpool and then spurs and then the schedule lightens up a bit like this is just an extremely important stretch of our career here our early career okay it seems we've made a new friend because we're getting advice from carius basically saying that he thinks we should get loaned out to a championship team and we're not good enough for the premier league i mean talk about some harsh advice but honestly he might be right we've gone from league two to premier league that's a big jump we're not quite sure if we can consistently play at this level right now Fifteen thousand pounds a week is amazing for a young player yeah we went from unemployed to having like a decent bit of money here and that money will be spent upgrading our apartment in this episode for sure so it's not gonna just go to waste and as you guys know we scored our first goal ever so it's time for our first upgrade now honestly it's pretty pathetic it's just one skill point dribbling up to 67 now plus three we're now six and overall so man we're plus one overall this is barely just the start of us becoming a better footballer though barely just the start all right the Brentford midfield is pretty light here we've got some injuries so for the next few games we're pretty much guaranteed to come on as a sub at some point so let's get through some games see if we can prove that we actually play consistently consistently at a Premier League level. Okay, first game Liverpool, we actually don't make it on the field. Like, we don't get to play at Anfield yet. I'm kind of disappointed here. And this game ends up being a 3-0 loss to Liverpool. All right, next game though is Spurs. And we do get an appearance this game in the 60th minute. Game is currently 0-0. Can we help our team get our first win of the season here? All right, come on. Our third ever Premier League appearance at home in front of the Brentford fans. We got to help spur us to a win. Get it? Spur us to a win? We got 30 minutes. We need to help our team here. Rose, what kind of touch is that? That's a horrible touch. Horrible introduction into this game. Also, we switched up. We got yellow boots in this game. That's a little bit different than the white boots. They're also generic boots. We don't have a boot deal yet with like Nike, Adidas. We have nothing yet. We're in the good old generics. Oh, we got to try and command this midfield. I feel like you haven't done a great job at that. We're going to try though. Oh, Visa. We were right there for that pass. All right, Rose. Good ball to Rico Henry, I believe. Yes, we do. Good ball to Tony. Into Rose. Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot. And that thing is deflected into space. Okay, we're actually taking a corner here. So Thomas Frank likes our corner ability. Can we repay the faith with him? That was a good service. Just no one gets to it. Ball out to Matthew Rose. We got to cross someone. Okay, that's not that's not at all what I wanted. Rose into Ivan Tony into Visa Visa. Ivan Tony shot right at Loris though. 15 minutes. We got to try and prevent a goal here. We our defense position there was not the best, honestly. Harry Kane into oh what a tackle by Matthew Rose. We kind of won that, but we didn't get back into position. Dan Juma shot. Get the ball out. Thank you. We do. Oh no, son. Chance score. Thankful he's offside. Boys, we need to win this game. Son. Okay, good defending. We got 10 minutes. Good ball to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose up to Ivan Tony. Oh that the first time pass. Tony, we need to be more patient. All right, new signing Dan Juma kind of destroyed us there a little bit. Ball into Sun, and Sun is going to score. Boys, this team right now is struggling. 1-0, and we're maybe staring down another defeat. Honestly, the schedule is very unkind to us, but still. Here we got a free kick, Tony. I don't know why he's taking it, but he is. Get that to bend me. Bend me into Matthew Rose. Chance for a shot. We just get taken out there. That is the physicality that we're not exactly ready for. That's a bad clearance by Lloris. We played into Embuemo, and he's going to score. That's our first Premier League assist. We don't even get a celebration. We head the ball to Embuemo, and he scores, and this game's 1-1. That was out of nowhere, but that's our first assist, and this game is tied up. We need a better replay. Lloris clears it. We are the first one to get to it into Embuemo, and he is going to be one to score. Okay, a point here could be a very large step in the right direction, especially against Spurs. We wanted to win, but as long as we get a point... I think we'll take that. Don't let them score now. All right, that's full time. We hold on. So we get a 1-1 draw courtesy of an assist from Matthew Rose. Oh, man, that came out of nowhere. But what a moment for our first assist. 1,000% helped our team. All right, still in 20th place. Next game is Southampton. 60th minute, we're coming on. And we're actually up 1-0 in this game. Come on, we got 30 minutes left. We got a one-goal lead. This is our chance to get our first win of the season, actually. And funny enough, we were playing here a couple weeks ago in our Manchester United trial. And if you remember that game, we played terrible in this stadium. Ross in. We're trying to get in the mix. We're not, though. Out. Oh, man, that could have been that could have been such a good header there. I feel like our positioning is getting a little bit better. We're getting more, like, 
like blocking the attackers and finding those spaces. At least we're trying to, just like there, we made that tackle. And we are going to make that tackle. Look at the defensive ability from Matthew Rose. We're going against uh, James Orr Prowse right here. One of the best uh, midfielders in the league. And we just got tackled. That's not good. We need to make up for it. Or Sitch. Okay. Our, our teammate saves us there. Lord guard. In to Ivan Tony. Tony. Get it to Rose. Actually play it on the other side. We see the pass. We see the pass. We play him in. Oh, it's getting out. He's going to go over to us. Matthew Rose. Chance to score. And we've actually scored. What a move by Brentford. And that's 2-0. Oh, man. We started that move and we finished it off. That was beautiful. Yanel didn't have the pace to finish that off. And, uh, and Buemo leaves it for us. And we finish it. Second ever Premier League goal by Matthew Rose. And that was a very solid, solid finish. More importantly, though, this is 2-0. Okay, block James or Prowse. The manager's telling us James or Prowse, he's a danger man for them. Like, we need to prevent him getting the ball. If we do, it allows us to get into better spaces, keeper. Good save. Okay, whoa. Grab it, please. Thank you. Okay, we're in a good spot here. Ball should be cleared out to us. It is, and we're going to clear it again. Solid midfield work from Matthew Rose. Rose, over to Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony into Rose. We're going to try to play it to Janssen again. He's going to lose it, though. All right, let's chill. Let's try and keep the ball here. Try and be, just be relaxed on the ball into Matthew Rose, though. Rose, we're going to try to find him. Buemo can't exactly reach him for the shot, though. Look at our energy and our pressing. It's just, it is, we are an energetic midfielder right now. All right, ball over the top. We can't let them score here. Into Orsic, and that's going to be a weird shot, but barely. Strakosha is looking very shaky in goal right now. He's scaring me. Five minutes, keep defending, keep being conservative. Orsic, we let him get that pass through. Going to be back to Orsic, but Nordgaard and Rose, the midfield combo defending. And Bumo, into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, over to Matthew Rose. Oh, we were just offside. Ivan, you got to wait a little bit or take that yourself. All right, Armstrong, we're in front of him. Defending. Decent tackle by Matthew Rose. Out to Ward-Prowse, though. Armstrong over to Peru. We saw James Ward-Prowse. We saw that pass, but we were too late. It's 2-1. We can't lose this lead right now. That might have been our fault. We might take responsibility for that. Ref, blow the whistle, please. There's not much time left. Ref, blow the whistle, please. They're going to get one more attack, maybe. Okay, good steal by Nordgaard. And we're going to get our first win of the season. Now, we had a very bad mistake at the end there. But we also scored the goal to help us win the game. So, I would say it's a balance. Oh, man. It's about time, though. First win. It is about time. And after that game, Thomas Frank tells us it was a great goal we scored, but we can't make defensive mistakes like that if we want to stay in this league. And just like that, we've climbed out of the relegation zone. Hey, still a lot more work to do, though. Straight into the next game, we're facing Leicester City at home. It is, of course, the 60th minute again, and this game is currently nil-nil. We just need to somehow try and keep this up and prevent any defensive mistakes from happening, because that can't happen again. We might have got our team the lead, but we also might have costed them the game in, like, a different situation. So that is the growing pains of a very young player who hasn't played much in their career yet. And saying that... We just gave up a penalty in the box. Oh man, Matthew Rose comes on the field, immediately gives up a penalty. We took out, we, we took out Tillemans. And all of a sudden, Tillemans comes up to us and wants to fight. And we're like, hey, calm, calm down. We didn't mean that. And Tillemans actually pushes us. And our instincts kick in, and we actually push him back. And then James Madison gets into it too. And he tells Tillemans to not waste his energy on a player like us. And he says we won't be playing here much longer. The ref then breaks us up, and we just play on. But I can't believe what just happened. All right, Tillemans now steps up, take the penalty. I hope he misses. Tillemans up to the spot. He is going to shoot, and he is going to score. We've been on the field for like two minutes. We just costed our team the lead. Of course, He's going to go crazy celebrating. Okay, now we're pissed off. Like, we got 30 minutes to help get our team something in this game now. Now, luckily, we're not in yellow cards, so we don't have to worry about uh, getting sent off. Elements shoots. Okay, he's angry, too. We got two angry players in the field. Honestly, if he's in front of us, we might take him out again. If it's not in the box, shot by Pryat, and it's going to be saved. Oh, man, in the box again. Trying to not do the same thing. We made a good tackle there. Ball doesn't get loose, though. Ben, me makes tackle. We do get the ball out. All right, Shade, we're in space here. We are in space. I see Ivan Tony. Can we get the ball to Ivan Tony? We kind of can. He's not going to get it, though. All right, we're going to switch the play. We got to do something here. Time is running out. Our attack has not looked great, although that's a great ball. Shade in to... Okay, that's beautiful. Jade, shoot. Someone shoot. Oh, man, what a move. We can't put it in the back of the net, though. 15 minutes. Cross into the box. We're not taking this corner. It's going to be cleared. We are going to get the ball. We got no options, though. Nord guard into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose in to Ivan Tony. He shoots. It's deflected. It's going to be another corner, though. Okay, we're taking the corner on this side. Matthew Rose swings in the corner. Looks good. Ivan Tony gets to it. Oh, man. What a save by their keeper. Come on. Get this goal. Another swing in by Matthew Rose. Ivan Tony again. It's the same save. Okay, we're sending this one in a little bit deeper. Third corner in a row. It's it's gonna be cleared. Harvey Barnes trying to make a trying to get a shot off. We defended that pretty well. Indeed, he's gonna find Pryat. That's a shot. And then Rico Henry gathers. We got five minutes, boys. We got so close to scoring there a couple times. Oh man, Albrighton tries to get it over to Pryat, and Leicester City are gonna score their second goal, and that's the game. Oh man, we had a chance come on the field, to make an impact. We made an impact in the wrong way though. Like a penalty within the second minute coming on. We get into a fight with Tillman's James Madison. Yeah, this we we had our best game in the last game. This might be our worst game right here. This is uh this is not gonna look good on our record. And that is full time. 
time. So 2-0 loss at home. Man, like we're embarrassed. Like by far our worst game. And of course, James Madison Tillman's come over to us. And pretty much James Madison just says, I told you so. And he tells us we're not going to last in this league. And we just try to ignore them and just walk away. All right, into the dressing room. I mean, the boys are disappointed. Like we are heavily disappointed in us right here because we we feel like we let the team down. And our teammate Ben Mee comes over to us and he tries to tell us like, don't be too hard on yourself. Like we can see that you're hurting. And we tell him like, yeah, it's tough when you feel like we just costed our team the game. And he tells us that win or lose, we do it as a team. And also the whole team has our back. Like we had a decent stretch of games there, but I can't help but feel like that last game ruined it. Thomas Frank comes over and tells us like, don't worry about it too much. You're a young player. Things happen. Just try not to let it happen again. Like learn from your mistakes. Okay. We need to get our mind off football a little bit. All right. What does any footballer who's struggling, what do they do normally? How about spend some money? Because as you can see, we have remodeled our apartment here. Okay. We're making 15,000 pounds a week. We might as well spend a little bit of it. Now, first thing, here's our new bed. We got a new bed. We got some new lamps. We got some new posters. And uh, we also bought a keyboard because I mean, once again, why not? Okay. We need something to take our minds off football. That's not video games. So uh, we've picked up a new hobby here. And now let's show off our new kitchen plus living room. All right. So here's the new and improved kitchen. I mean, okay. It's not that different. We got a new stove. We got a new refrigerator. We also got a new dining table. And also we had interior decorator come and like recolor stuff. And I think it looks much, much better. Like, it costed a lot of money, but I think it was worth it. Now living room, we got hardwood floors put in. We have a new computer. It costed like 10,000, but you know, we can watch a little bit of YouTube, you know, search around. We got a new desk, a new gaming chair, because once again, why not? I mean, TV couch pretty much looks the same, but we made one very large purchase here. And that is a home, pretty much a home gym system here. Cause hey, we got to try and adapt to like the physicality of the Premier League. So we got to start working out right now. We're so weak. We want to get stronger here to play in the Prem. I mean, as you can see, we're kind of struggling here. We just, we just bought this, you know, we got to try, we got to get stronger. We are serious though about improving. We're very serious. We also couldn't ignore the bathroom. We got a new sink. We got a new shower. Just overall, everything is pretty much improved. Now, as we're working out, we get a call on our cell phone and the call is from Phil Giles, the sporting director of Brentford FC. And he tells us that Thomas Frank wants to see us in his office first thing in the morning. Now, like we got a potential loan move in the works. We just costed our team a game by giving up a penalty. Like we don't know what this meeting could be about. So like we are stressing out, but fast forward to the next morning, we head into Thomas Frank's office and he tells us that he's got something important he needs to say to us. And we're like, no, please no. He says, I got news for you. Now we're thinking we just upgraded our apartment and now we're going to go on loan to somewhere else. Like this is horrible. But then he tells us it's not a loan move. He tells us that we are starting in the next game. He says he thinks we've played well enough to earn ourselves a chance to start. Now he tells us it doesn't mean you're a starter, but next game against Newcastle, you'll be in the starting 11. We of course tell him, thank you boss. We'll try our best. And he says, take advantage of the opportunity. We're about to have our first ever Premier League start. So after that last game, we have dropped back down to the relegation zone. This is our chance to have a very good game and also turn things around for Brentford. So we get to the stadium. We're heading into the dressing room and a reporter stops us. He says his name is Tim Slater. He's a, he was a reporter from the athletic. And he asks us, how does it feel to be starting your first Premier League match? Like this is our first ever interview. So we're going to cut off guard here, but we get together. We tell him like, we're excited to play, you know, try to have the impact on the field and most importantly, help the team win. That's our goal. After that, we head in the dressing room and Ivan Tony comes up to us and he congrats us on our first ever start. And we tell him, Hey, let's, let's try and make it a win. Okay. The game is about to start and we're lining up against the Newcastle players. And next to us is Bruno Guimadas. Now it's a little awkward. We're like, we don't know what to say really. So we look at him and say, Hey, good luck. We're trying to have like good sportsmanship. And uh, Bruno Guimadas just looks at us and doesn't say anything. And we're like, okay then. And then just like that, we head out onto the stadium for our first ever Premier League start. Like we shouldn't have said anything. We just made a fool of ourselves. Let's try not to make a fool of ourselves on the pitch though. First ever Premier League start. Can we make an impact and also get a win in our first start? Okay. That's a decent start. A little interception. I like that. Out to Ivan Tony. Tony, find us. Please find us. Thank you. We got options here. Oh, we can't play to Ivan Tony though. We just messed up that chance. Alamosin gets it over. Oh man, our defender got left in the dust there. Joe Linton, but it's also recovered pretty well. Yeah, Newcastle are a very strong team. This game could be tough. Like right now, we're marking St. Maximin. Okay, we made a good tackle there. Corner sent in, and that's going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose, actually. Now we got fresh legs and also some stamina here. Problem is, we need some help. Okay, we need our striker. Good ball into our striker. He's going to shoot. Nick Pope makes the save. That was not a bad attack led by us. Oh man, this is end to end. Callum Wilson, chance to score and our keeper makes the save. Absolutely end to end in our first start. Oh man, so awkward. Gets it out though. Can we try and win this? Oh, we just got pushed by St. Maximin. Dolenton into St. Maximin. Oh man, this is just such a hard mark for us. We got our teammates helping out though. Oh man, Matthew Rose. We see our teammate again. He's in. Can he score? He takes a shot. And he just hit the crossbar or post or something. What kind of shot was that? Norgard into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot this time for us. Shot by us. And that's going to go into the right top corner. Holy moly. What a goal by Matthew Rose. We just had a wonder strike. That's like goal of the season maybe. I can't believe this went in. We're like 69 rated. It doesn't matter. Like half volley. And that thing just goes all the way into the right top corner. That is nuts. Our third ever Premier League goal might be the goal of the season. I actually can't believe that. It's 1-0 though in the 22nd minute. We just pulled that off in our first start. Okay, we got to calm down though. We still got a whole game to play. We got to do our defensive work just like that. Now to Rico Henry. Rico Henry. 
Ivan Tony into us, into, oh man, that was one pass too extra maybe. I was trying to play it to the other striker. Oh, I thought that was the right pass. Tim Axman, Tim Axman, we, we remember he pushed us before. We will not let that happen again. And we're trying to mark him here. Into Matthew Rose. Okay, we got something on that. Can we clear that? Yes, we can. The Maximan. Oh, Matthew Rose on St. Maximan. What a tackle. This might lead to a counterattack, actually. Matthew Rose in to Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony gets it back to Rose. Back to Tony. Please be on side. Ivan Tony shoots. He's on side, but he misses. Oh, man. He got to score that. Short corner to Matthew Rose. Can we flip this up. We got to pick out a cross. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Whoa, what was that? That wasn't the plan. Great steal, though. Come on. We got him on the ropes here. Ivan Tony into the striker he's gonna lose it though i should have supported him more okay one more attack for halftime no we don't that is halftime man what a goal by us and that is currently the reason we're up one nil man that might be the best goal of our career we scored like our full career by the end of it that might be the best you gotta win this game though it's gotta be on top of a win matthew rose trying to find ivan tony not gonna find him quite putting pressure on nick pope he almost just blocked that that's gonna be a bad clearance in to matthew rose we find Ivan Tony. We can. He shoots. It's going to be blocked, though. We're putting pressure. We're putting pressure on Lewis, but I think he is going to get the ball out. All right, all that pressing around the position, but okay, our, our center back's doing a good job in this game. Ivan Tony up to Matthew Rose. Looking for that pass. Going to get it out to the fullback. Try to. We were too slow there. Right there, we don't look like we're ready to play in this league. We persevere, though. Get it out to the middle guy. Into Matthew Rose. Out to the striker. Into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, chance to score. Ivan Tony, he's got a goal. He's in a gold drought right now. He's got to score these, though. Short corner to Matthew Rose. Can we pick out the cross? We're going to send it. Okay, that's that was actually a great cross. I think Ben Mir. No, who? Someone got to it. They almost just scored. All right, this time, sends it into the box. That's going to be Ivan Tony. Oh, man, he had a backwards header, and it skims the roofing of the net. We are so close to this two-goal lead. Oh, Willick didn't get that pass to Joe Linton. That's not good. Trying to recover, though. Okay, we helped. We helped Mark Sam Maxman there. Going to get it to our teammate, Nordgaard. Into Ivan Tony. Nordgaard, that was not a good pass. Oh, no, it's going to lead to an attack. Miguel Almiron, defense, doing so good right now. Defense, hold up. Jolinton, okay, we blocked the passing lane. We gave Jolinton no options there. Matthew Rose, up to our striker. Get it back to Matthew Rose, into Matthew Rose, into Ivan Tony. Got to score that, and Ivan Tony scores. It is about time we get the assist, and Ivan Tony just gives us a two-goal lead. Uh, Matthew is running around here. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's running around. Finally, we connect with Ivan Tony, and it's perfect. Okay, we still got 10 minutes, though. Two-goal lead is not safe in 10 minutes. We got to defend and be smart. Didn't block that pass. Can't get lazy here. Can't get lazy. Defense. Great job. Ivan Tony into Matthew Rose. We're tired, though. Do we have the legs? We need an outlet. We're going to play it to the right-sided player. Back into Matthew Rose. We find... Okay, we got to we gotta keep possession here. Good, good pass, actually. Find the right move. We're going to try and get it to our striker. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful into Ivan Tony. It's beautiful. 3-0. We were so patient there. We found the pass. That was some good little triangle passing. Oh, man. First start. It's going to be a 3-0 win. That is a beautiful triangle there to find Ivan Tony. He's got a brace. We got one goal. We got one assist. What a beautiful game for our first ever start. We'll get a chance for one more. We might get one more. Oh, he's offside. Uh, that's embarrassing. But that is full time. 3-0. What a game. Biggest win of the season by far. And we just redeemed ourselves after that Leicester game. Like, we got to be mad at the match unless they give it to Ivan Tony. Oh, man. What a game, though, for us. What a game for Matthew Rose. And we do get man of the match. Oh, man. First ever start man of the match. What more can he ask for? Like, bro, what What a game for us. Thomas Frank comes over and tells us great performance. And Ivan Tony says that's the kind of win to help us turn this season around. And Thomas Frank tells us the media wants to talk to us. So it's time for our very first post-game press conference. So first question is from Sky Sports. And they tell us congrats on our first start. Congrats on our great goal in that game. And also congrats on the win. And they ask us, do you think you should become a starter now? Now, we know that what we say in these are very, very important to our relationship with our team, our manager, everything. So we try and have a very professional answer here. And we say that we're ready to contribute to the team, whether it's off the bench, whether it's starting, whatever the manager thinks is best. Next question is from ESPN. And they tell us that after our tussle up with uh, Leicester City and Telemans last week, that are we afraid of being labeled a hothead in the Premier League, that we start fights? And it's like, hey, we didn't even start that fight. Like they're talking as if we're the one that started it. And like, we're kind of shook. We didn't expect this question. We don't know what to say. We try to say like stuff like that happens all the time on the football pitch. That there's nothing else behind it. It's just normal football stuff. And the ESPN reporter kind of laughs it off and says all right thank you like we gotta know now when these in these press conferences we might be like cornered by questions like that so after that we get home after that game and like we do not like how that press conference went so we're starving so we make a little a little tiny snack i mean it's a classic pb and j like who doesn't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and of course as we go to like wash our dishes and get cleaned up we get a phone call here like in the evening and it's actually phil giles again and he tells us that he feels inclined to tell us this that they have received loan interest from teams in the mls the air divisi and also la liga smart bank of course that is the second division in spain 
Now he reiterates that nothing's set in stone yet, but he is asking us, do we have a preference about which league we'd like to go to if we get loaned out? And he says, think about it, sleep on it, and then let him know later in the week. And like, of course, we want to stay at Brentford. We want to stay in the Premier League, but it's looking more and more like that Brentford want to loan us out. So we decided to take a little nap, but we got to start thinking like if we have to be loaned out, where do we want to go? But if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like, hit that sub button down below. If you want to see what if Holland changed teams every season, then click on screen and I hope you have a great day.